What's good, Glam Gang? Welcome back. My name is Teja Avani, and today is the final day, part three of the Cardi B Up Transformation. If you have not watched parts one, two, and also the prep video, I'll link them down below, but please watch this video first um, because we'll be finishing up. We'll be doing the bottoms of the Cardi B Up costume. So if you'd like to know how to make those bottoms, or at least how I did it, or if you just are watching for entertainment purposes, then uh, please keep on watching to the end of this video because we'll do some little tips, tricks, and the reveal. So let's get on to it. Okay, so now we are going to do the bottoms. So this is what, this is I think the back bottoms piece, but that's what it looks like. And so what we are going to do is stitch the gathering stitches. So I turned the light down so you can see the little pencil marks that I have. So I'm just gonna sew along these lines um, and then we'll be gathering this big old piece down. This is what the front um, bottoms piece looks like. So luckily with the stitch, it kind of looks like it <laughs> like gathered literally the majority of it. Like I think is almost like literally okay. What you're gonna do now is very similar to what we did for the bra. I'm going to take my front pot bottoms piece and lie it on top. And then I'm just going to pin the areas together um, and like just like the major points together. yeah okay yeah it's gonna be something like this <laughs> this is a lot and it's like just like a lot of maneuvering and figuring out what works and what doesn't so i'm just adjusting until i can freaking get the height that i need for this bottom okay so i think i've gotten to a point of where i can be happy with the ruffles and where they are I think I'm going to tie off the ruffles again because I'm happy with where everything is for the most part. I'm going to tie off all the threads and then I will probably do the stitches like I did for the choker and like do a stitch between, you know, the situations. So before I sew the ruching to the base layer together, uh, I'm going to attach the little, whatchamacallit, grommet panels? Yes, grommet panels to the um, base layer first because I want to sew all of it together. Okay, I totally forgot about talking about these grommet panels for these bottoms. What they pretty much are is the same grommet panel that I did for the choker last video. Like, it's literally a rectangle with some interfacing on one half of it flipped inside out. However, the grommet panel for the bottoms is about an inch and a half wide. And the length of the grommet panel is the length of, or the height of the bottoms um, minus an inch. But let's get back to the regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> you creeping, mama? Okay. You can hurry. <laughs> you not be in that quiet mode. Just do it. I'm waiting for you. <laughs> All right, I will. So I have these little panels. I made them just like any other closure that we did this video. What I'm going to do is align it to the edges of the base layer um, and making sure that the finished edge is pointing, pointing inward so that when we flip everything inside out, this will be pointing outward. What we're going to do first, I'm going to like measure like a half an inch up, which is like right here. And then I'm just going to pin this along the raw edge. And then I'm going to pin it together. Now that's done. I am going to base this down and then um, do it for the other side as well. And if you want to like straight up sew it first down and then sew the two layers together, you can but I am just going to take my chances and just sew it all in one go 
and tie it off and then you do it to the other side i um basted the two panels together so now it's time to line up everything and get to sew and sew and so i'm grabbing my ruching and i'm going to place these panels uh face down so you shouldn't be able to see them and then again pin you know the foundation layer to the ruching layer starting at the crotch because that's like a good base point I'm just going to pin everything down along the edges. Now, if you want to base all this down, then you can. Uh, I'm choosing not to. Only because, like I said, I just want to get this done. Um, and you'll definitely need your heavy-duty needle for this because this is a lot of layers of fabric. And I'm doing this on the back first, <laughs> just in case I make any mistakes. Um, it's always good to do that. The best thing to make sure of is that this whole foundation layer fits inside the ruching layer and that there's no, like, I don't want like this part right here. So you, you see how it's kind of like trying to kind of dip underneath the foundation layer. You don't want that. You want to make sure that um, just the whole foundation layer can fit on top of the ruching layer without it, like, you know, overlapping or anything like that. And just make sure you pin everywhere except for the the top. All right. So now that that's done, like I said, you can baste it if you want. But we're just going to go all the way around everywhere except for the top area. Just don't do the top area. Okay. So let's take this to the sewing machine and let's pray for the best. Okay. So this is what it looks like when once it's sewn. So what we're just going to do now is cut the excess on the sides and in the leg holes. I think I'm going to leave the top for right now because I don't know if it's going to unravel if I cut the cut the ruching. So I'm just going to leave that for now, but I'm just going to cut off just the side stuff because we don't need that no more because we have to flip this inside out. Okay, and then you just do the same thing on the other side, and then we just have a few more steps left to do. I sewed both of the front and back pieces together, and this is what they look like. I'm actually really, really happy with the way that they came out. They're not flipped inside out yet, so that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to, you know, casually flip it inside out. And then, um, oof, yeah, this is looking a little rough. The, this ruffle turned out horrible. <laughs> oh my God. Dear Lord, my ruffles came out horrible. This project is a mess. It's a hot mess, but it's okay. We'll, we'll just, we'll take it. I'm going to finally attach the two together. So of course, place one on top of the other like this, pin it, and then just sew it across at a quarter inch. And once that is done, then we're literally almost finished with the entire project. So uh, I'm just gonna go do that real quick right now and then um, move on to the next step. Okay, so the front and the back is finally sewn together. So now we have some idea of bottoms. So what I'm just gonna do, because we have excess fabric, is that I'm just gonna fold the excess fabric back over the lining and then just catch, catch stitch it down just so that it's not seen and just call it a day. So um, for the catch stitching or the folding back, if like the gathering stitch is still there, then just carefully take out the gathering stitch and then re-knot it. What, what is there not to focus on? I'm confused, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to do that real quick and then we just gotta put on the grommets, sew the straps, and then that will be it for the bottoms and the entire look, probably.
Okay, so now I'm putting in the grommets finally. So what I'm going to do is align like the two grommet panels on one side together and like literally pin them together to make sure that when I mark where the grommets should go, that it is the same spot on both the front grommet panels and the back grommet panels. So right now I'm just pinning them together and then I believe I am measuring every half inch and or either half inch or inch and then marking where the grommets should go. Uh, and But I counted on the Ray Ortiz, you know, post on Instagram and there's about 10 grommets that should go on the grommet panels. And then also I realized because I'm using a water soluble marker is that if you wet a paper towel and just rub it real quick after you make a mistake, it just goes away, which is good. So, um, you know, a little tidbit here and there, but I'm just trying to figure out where the grommet should go. So I was like, instead of me using a marker, let me just use pins <laughs> because I'm still traumatized from marker for y'all that know and watch the other videos of this Cardi B up transformation. So like, I think I'm pretty sure I measured about an inch between yeah and every inch I marked where the grommet should go and so now I'm marking them with a marker on each side and then I am going to um, set in the grommets and then after that and then also sewing the straps which we did last video um, after you set in the grommets and then you know lace up the straps then the bottoms are ready to go so y'all can just continue to watch me put in the grommets and figure out where they should go um, and then we'll be showing you the final result afterwards. So um, I'm just going to lace it up from the top to the bottom. So I'm going to move these over to the side. Also, there is some like difference between the start of the grommets and the start of the shorts because I overestimated the length of it just so I could cut it down. But I realized cutting it down was not an option. So <laughs> um, I might make some like extra loops here if I have to, if when I've tried it on and the fit is off. Um, then I'll just make some extra loops. But anyway, I'm going to lace it up with these long um, straps. Was even the first one already messing up? <laughs> Oh my god, lacing up stuff takes four freaking ever. Okay, so then once that's done, I know that the designer just made a cute little bow and then that is pretty much it so you kind of do it to the other side um it would be better if you put a zipper in i did not because i was lazy again so i'll try this on if i need to make a little loops here and here then i will can't tell which one's the front or which one's the back anymore i think they metamorphosize into one he's a genius
how the final look came out finally it looks so freaking good and like i was just having so much fun in this look especially like you know i put on my white air force ones because you know i'm hella new york so i had to instead of the white boots that cardi had and i was just i was feeling myself and i'm just happy that i at least got through this look and it looks relatively decent like if you put this look on and go outside people most people know the reference so i feel like i achieved the goal and also my ass does look like, look like cardi's but like the diet version so i think the goal was achieved and i'm very 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 happy and proud of this looks all right so that is it for this video this is how the look came out and I love the look I do it's not horrible but it could be better because <laughs> I was mad cocky when I did my sweetener tour um transformation and it looked damn near just like the original and so I was mad cocky so I was like yeah I can do anything and then I thought this look <laughs> would be super duper easy because I only had to buy the fabric which was like $23 and free shipping so like I was like oh this is going to be a quick easy cheap project whatever whatever <laughs> get to doing the project it is one of the hardest things i've ever tried i don't know how the designer did it ray ortiz don't know how you did it but i believe you're a genius <laughs> i really do because the look is iconic i love i just love the look i love the idea of it but it was so hard to execute for me <laughs> so i might try to um dm him if he's not watching this video already please watch my video but i might dm him and ask him like how did he do it because i am shooketh Shookington. I don't know how it happened. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. It was a intense project. It was a project that took way too long, but it was a project that had to be done. Cause every time I tried to regret doing it, like I know I had to do it for y'all. I had to do it for y'all lovelies, the glam gang. I know that y'all wanted to look like this and I wanted to start doing more iconic looks like frequently. Cause I don't want to have it sporadically. Like I want to do it on a frequent basis and I have a lot of catching up to do like I say in every video <laughs> and so um yeah it was just it was a lot I really 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 thought that it was an easy video and it wasn't but it was fun to do and I'm happy that I did it I might retry it because Cardi's dancers had like all the different colors so there was like pink and blue and green and all those cute ass colors so I might like remake it in one of those colors and try to get it more like on nail on the head of the way it looks so um please go to my patreon and become a patron in order to see that if it does happen because i'll probably post it on patreon if it does happen um and really show y'all like the real techniques of how to ruche properly and make sure that everything is in its place and fits properly with the ruching anyway that's pretty much it if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications so y'all know when i do post because I know my schedule is still wonky. I'm trying to fix that. Because I had to take a break. Because, you know, 14 days. That wasn't 14 days. It ended up being a mess. So I had to take a break. And then I had to do this um, video. Which took way too long to do. Um, but turn, turn on your post notifications. So you know whenever I do post. So that y'all don't miss a look. Or a DIY tutorial. So um, that is pretty much it. Please let me know which other Cardi looks you would like me to do. I'm definitely doing WAP, so don't worry about that. I'm going to do like the main look and I want to do the cheetah look, but it depends on certain things going down. But um, any other Cardi looks y'all want me to do, either in the up video or any of her other videos or like award show stuff, just anything. Just let me know in the comments down below and also which Cardi song is your favorite because mine is money so far I freaking love that song it gets me mad hype and um it helps with my prosperity work as well because like I be feeling rich I feel like I got money because I do got money but I'm manifesting more money all right so anyway that is it for this video and lip gloss is getting stuck in my hair or vice versa but anyway <laughs> i keep saying that's it for this video i'm all over the place i just finished shooting this look and i'm feeling really really good right now like you know like a winner's high i'm feeling like a creative's high when a project's finally done and it comes together and you see it on either on yourself or on a client that's what i'm feeling right now so anyway i love y'all please stay safe 
Um, and also, of course, as always, please love yourself and I will see you next video. Oh, also, if you like this video, please share it to people who you think will also like this video. Share it to your social media, you know, message it, email it to people, all that good stuff. And also follow me on TikTok because that will also, this look will also be on TikTok as well. Anyway, lovelies, love you. See you next video. Mwah!